What is up guys and welcome back. We got another cheater video for you guys. Now it has been about a month since I've dropped one of these cheater videos. You know, I've been out fishing. I've been out doing some fishing. You know, posting a couple a couple fish videos like I used to. And I, I really enjoy making those kind of videos. But we are back guys. We are back. We got another scandalous cheater vid for you. So stay tuned. Yeah, guys, so I, uh, I'm i getting a new desk for in here, so that's why I'm just kind of like sitting here. That's why I'm actually just like holding the mic, because uh, that table I had in here was just too big for this room. I got too much going on here. I got all these fish tanks. I actually got freaking four fish tanks in this room, and uh, yeah, I need more space, so I got a smaller desk coming. It doesn't come until tomorrow, unfortunately, but wanted to make a video. Came across an interesting story. Before we get into this, though, we're going to talk real briefly about the walleye cheaters, because nobody's heard anything. Nobody knows what's going on. They are, I think they got epstein I think they got Jeffrey Epstein. I have no idea. I don't even know what's going on with them. No one's seen them. No one's spotted them. No one's heard of them. They vanished. They have vanished from the fishing world. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know when their court dates are. There's like no public information. I mean, I guess I could call around and see. But I actually did try calling about three weeks ago, a month ago. And they wouldn't even give me nothing. They wouldn't even tell me anything at the uh, county courthouse or whatever. But yeah, guys, we're going to get into this other one. I found a pretty juicy freaking story this one's pretty crazy like all of them though you know it's, it's pretty freaking wild now i'm probably gonna butcher the guy's name but this was a guy named paul torman torman tormanen tormanen or we'll say Tor paul tormanen I, I know i destroyed it i always destroy their names these, mo these guys got some weird names man but this guy was kind of a big deal back in the early 2000s he was winning a lot he actually won like four tournaments in one year it was like fifty-seven thousand dollars in winnings so yeah guys this happened down in louisiana and uh it's pretty crazy how this guy got caught we're just gonna kind of go through the whole thing so it was the red river bass master central open and uh there, there was another angler. He was pre-fishing. This other guy, his name was Sam Huckabee, and he's out pre-fishing. I think it was two to two or three days before the actual tournament event. And he's casting a crankbait around. He went back into this cove where he knows there's a bunch of stumps and, and you know, some nicer, some nicer bass like to hang out there. And he's casting around, cast by this stump, feels something on the line, sets the hook. He's excited because he knows he got a fish. But something's weird. Something's weird. It's like he's stuck. He's like he, he's like snagged. So he goes in to investigate. He finds a fish with uh with braided line. So not not like a rope, like actual braided line. And it was wrapped around the stump. And he assumed at first that this fish had like broken off another angler's lure and was just like got stuck on the stump because that that does happen. I've had that happen. But upon further investigation, he lands the fish and he realizes that there's just braid tied around the fish, like through its gills, just straight up tied to the stump. So somebody, he knew somebody was cheating. Now he didn't know if somebody was cheating in the current event or if it happened, you know, previously in another tournament, because there's a lot of tournaments on this body of water. But because the fish looked so good, he knew it had to be, had to be recent because the tournament wasn't for a couple days. So Sam Huckabee notifies the authorities and lets them know what he found. Now, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries tells Huckabee to just not tell anyone, put the fish back, just uh, just, just kind of keep it to himself. Now, that would be so freaking hard to do. You know somebody's cheating and you, they tell you not to tell anyone. So he didn't, he didn't tell anyone. You know, they, he didn't hear anything the first day. And then the second day is when stuff starts to go down. So the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries went back to that cove, actually found more fish tethered to stumps. The same way, it was like 60 pound braid, had them tied to the stumps, and they just left them there and they just waited. And uh, they actually even took DNA samples from the fish. They clipped, they clipped the dorsal fin, they clipped the tail, and they got DNA samples just to like see like where the fish even came from. And they, you know, they clipped them so that they could identify the fish later. Well, old Paul Tormanen, Tor Torman, Tor how do you say this guy's name? Tormanen. Old Paul Tormannon weighed in one of those fish, at least one of those fish. They think it may have been more, but they know for a fact it was one because it was one of the fish they clipped. And uh, they confronted him after the fact. So they know that Tormannon, Tor, Tormannon, they, they, <laughs> that's such a weird name. They knew that Tormannon cheated and the, uh, the tournament director was notified by his lawyer not to say anything yet. His name was Ralph Haggard and, you know, he had to keep his mouth shut too because they, they wanted to make sure they got him. They wanted to make sure he went down. This Tormannon guy had been winning a lot. Like I said, he won... Fifty-seven thousand some dollars the, the, that year. He made him. He was in the FLW as well. Pocketed like fifteen grand from them. He won a Ozark BFL. This guy's, you know, and that's what's crazy. Like this guy 
was probably cheating all the time. But uh, even if he wasn't, like, he's tarnished his whole reputation, like, just from cheating this one time. So, like, why, why would you do it? Why would you freaking cheat? But, yeah, so they waited after the fact. They made sure that he had had actually uh, submitted the fish that they had, like, clipped and stuff. So they were able to prove that it was. They actually took DNA samples, like I said, of the fish. Came back to those fish weren't even from that body of water. And, uh, yeah, he got banned from... That tournament got banned from... Uh, from Bass, B-A-S-S, and got banned from FLW. Pretty much got banned from everything. And uh, But that was it. I don't think he was... According to this article, he was never even arrested or anything like that. Just basically got banned. So he pretty much got away with it. And that's the thing, though. A lot of these guys kind of get away with it because it makes the tournament trails look bad. And they just want to brush it under the rug, get, get through it. And then what's wild, though, like when they're cheating, like who knows... How many past events he cheated and how many past events that he he won and uh you know took money from the other anglers who should have won so it's pretty sketchy stuff it was pretty clever what he was doing though he was tethering these fish to the stumps with braided line so you're not really going to see the line you're just going to see a fish sitting there and then he was actually trying to cast over his line with like a crank like that like how the other angler did like how huckabee did by accident but cast over the line, reel it, and when you when you feel the line, you know when you set the hook, it's gonna ride the line and just hook the hook the fish right in the freaking mouth and and look legit. It's gonna look like a legit catch. So pretty sneaky, freaking stuff, guys. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this one. Have you heard about this one? Paul Torminen. Tor T Torminen. I have no freaking idea how you say his name. But uh, yeah, he he's he was banned. This happened back in like 2005, and uh. It's kind of crazy because these these cheaters freaking disappear. Like they did, it's wild. Like where do they go? What do they do? They're, they're, they're ghost mode on social media, ghost mode everywhere. Do they change their name? Are they in witness protection? Like what the heck's going on? Same with these walleye cheaters. You know that happened back in October. Nobody's heard of them since like since November. It's pretty crazy stuff, guys. Pretty freaking crazy. But yeah, guys, comment below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If you want me to keep doing the cheater videos, I kind of took a little break from them. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of getting a little burned out on them because they're just, I, I just, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's like a negative side of the sport and, you know, just talking about it over and over again. Yeah, I kind of got burned out, but, you know, I, I can still squeeze in a couple here and there. I'm really hoping to get ice soon. We got, it's, it's getting cold again. I, you know, I did a couple ice fishing videos back in December and then it got, we had like this 60 degree freaking warm spell and it's been pretty warm ever since, but it's finally starting to get back down. We're starting to get some skim ice, hoping we'll be doing some more ice fishing videos. And uh, yeah, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna be making a bunch of fishing content. It's gonna be really, I'm really gonna be going hard this year, guys. Like I just got the new boat. I got, I got a, I just got a new boat. I got it all outfitted out. I still got the John boat. I got a kayak. I got a canoe. I just bought a freaking eight-man shanty. Planning on going ice fishing once we get the good ice, the good safe ice. I'm planning on taking it, the, the shanty out and camping for like two to three days on the freaking ice. We're going to be having a lot of exciting content coming up for you guys. And I'm just going hard this year. This is going to be, we're making some moves. we got some other things that are coming down the pipe. Some pretty soon. Some pretty big announcements that I don't want to make yet because it's still kind of in the works. But we're getting really close to dropping some really, really exciting stuff. But yeah, guys, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you next time.